Okay, we're back. We're up and running. Everything is good so far. Um, one thing I did notice, I uh, forgot to mention earlier, is the case. Uh, it's great so far. I have not really any complaints. Just uh, some FYIs is um, in the box, you get this box of brackets and screws and all kinds of stuff. And I mean, the screws are pretty easy to figure out. There's a box of, you know, whatever, four times, I guess, 20 would be so like 80 screws um, and all these brackets but there's no instructions absolutely none um, you know but not that big a deal I, I like to DIY stuff and figure it out anyways so uh, so we're up and running um, I have my cables plugged into my raid card everything um, like I said I am running CentOS I did a fresh install just for the heck of it I do have my old this is my old uh, operating system drive just in case I need it and this is my spare RAID 1 drive with all of my data on it. So, very, very important. Uh, what I've got is <clears throat> my, my hard drives came in today too. And so, the drive in the lower left here is the mate to this RAID 1 device. So, I uh, plugged it in just by itself because just in case I fat fingered something, I didn't want to lose all my data. And uh, so, I mounted it up and got it started you know uh, suboptimally or whatever that's called where it's uh, you know you're, you don't have all the devices left so I've only got one of the two and uh, it's going good so what I'm doing is I actually use a, a program it's kinda like Mosey but it's called Crash Plan and the reason I like it is they have a phone app they have Linux support Mac even though uh, I don't like Mac uh, and Windows so it's great and what I do is I have everything back up to the server. Well, soon to be. Yeah, actually, now that I've got it configured, it should be accepting backups from, like, my laptop with all my work stuff on it and um, from my desktop. And then this backs up to their their uh, crash plans off-site storage. So uh, works great. It's just a little slow going right now because um, I did a, a rebuild of it and... So it's resyncing. Uh, I've only got about a little less than two terabytes of data right now. It's probably about 1.5, I guess, actually. So it's actually working on sending that up. And uh, it was syncing earlier. It was doing some kind of synchronize. I guess trying to figure out what data's up there and what's not. But see, there's not really any activity right now. The drive above that is a SSD that I have that I'm playing around with using it. Uh, load some VMs on it through VMware uh, and sharing it with NFS just testing out performance you know between it and uh, some other you know standard drives and then these six down here in the bottom right are my RAID 6 that I've built and what I'll do is once once I get all my data up to crash plan servers offsite you can see the activity light going there a little bit once that's all synced up you know in a few days then what I'll do is I'll kill that drive and then put it into, add it into the RAID 6 pool here, get it all synced up, and then I will, uh, or actually, I'll take that back, I'm sorry. I'll copy all the data off that drive to the RAID 6, then I'll wipe that drive, add it into the RAID pool, let it rebuild, or recalculate, and uh, once that's all done, and I'm still good to go synced up to their servers, and I still have all my data, then I'll add my final drive, so that'll be eight two terabyte drives uh, with RAID 6, which is du double parity. So I'll have 12 terabytes minus, I don't know, say 20% for overhead. So I'll still have at least 10 terabytes of data storage, and I can lose any two disks, uh, even the operating system. That everything uh, I, I don't have anything useful on this drive, and it's a it's a slower drive. I think it's a three say to two or three gigabit and or yeah three gigabits per second so anyway so we're up and running we're syncing and let's see that's pretty much it um, I don't know if you can tell from the video but the sound is really not too bad you know I've seen some people kinda complaining about the sound level of this and it's not bad at all and I've got the case open so I'm sure it'll get a little more quiet once I shut the case but this is gonna go in my rack anyways uh, which is in the basement room so no big deal there 
Um, and then I have a couple 250 gig drives. These are old school. These aren't. These are SATA ones, I think. But once I get uh, more connectivity to the back plane on this thing, which I still need to show you guys, uh, I'm gonna use those and do like a RAID zero or just do some fun stuff for testing and whatnot and just play around with it. But so, anyways, that's where we're at, and I'm trying to think. Um, I got the so the rail kit I bought is the RL 26s the ball bearing rails uh, Again, no instructions, but it was really simple to see how these mounted up. They actually kind of slide in behind that little um, Catch right here, and then they screw in about almost halfway down There's a screw and then there's one there and a couple at the back They look sturdy. I've seen some people kind of have fitment issues with those um, and here's the other half of them uh, you can see there's the ball bearings, but that should fit. Um, let's see, it is adjustable, so I'm guessing there's screws on the other side or something here. Well, no, I don't know, it looks adjustable, but we'll see if I need to adjust it. I'm sure I will have to a little bit, but we'll get that. Basically, I'm going to leave it here in my room, in my office, uh, under my supervision until I get all the data backed up because that does make me nervous. So that's where we're at. Um, and uh, if you have any questions on this stuff, let me know. But uh, you know, it's just basic build, CentOS, um, crash plan, and, and running NFS. And I'll show you eventually my ESX server. It's already in the rack. And uh, I mean, that's pretty basic. So I found one thing that's really nice is a, a USB DVD CD ROM. And I actually just bought in this box here is a Blu ray. I'm going to start ripping all my Blu-rays and putting it on here and serving it up to my PlayStations. So, cool. Alright, guys. We'll uh, give you an update here in a little while. Once I get everything built and synced and all that, I'll show you some of the software that I'm using. Alright, later.